Hi, I'm Morgan Crosby from Finch Chevrolet in London, Ontario, Canada, and you're watching Corvettes and Crosby. We have a lot of Corvettes to go over today. We have finally got the headlight recall done with, and because of that, there is gonna be a ton of Corvettes. I have 11 Corvettes that are on their way in. Three of them have already arrived. Two of them are gonna be right now in this segment, and you're watching the latest and greatest from the Corvettes up north, Carson Crosby, starting right now. Guess who's back? Canadian Corvettes are. That's right. The headlight recall is over, and we finally have Corvettes coming in. The recall subsided on Thursday, and uh, we are back in action. We got a Z06 up here with some edge red calipers. Another torch red stinger here, non-Z51. Only one on the truck for us, but we have 11 Corvettes right now that are at the factory. I guess now 10 Corvettes, thanks to this gentleman. And uh, yeah, so two days after, two business days after um, the uh, headlight recall uh, ended, it already started. So the good news is, is that if you are a Canuck, you are in luck. Your Corvette is finally coming. And guess what? It's just the tail end of winter. There's still some snow over here. I just got to do my token move to snow in the spring and give it a little kick and say, get out of here. I'll see you in eight months. And uh, yeah, so congratulations. I know it sucks that a lot of Canadians have had their Corvettes built and they've been sitting at the plant, but guess what? The wait is over and so is winter. So let's get this out the truck and take a good look at her. I always am amazed by how talented these guys are. It's, uh, it's an art form. You need, this isn't even the, uh, the wide body version, but they, uh, they make it look easy. And again, if you're just following along, they put pieces of wood on here um, for the Canadian versions um, for clearance reasons. I can't remember the reason behind it, but um, yeah, they have to use wood. They can't use another material that they normally do. We're going to bring this inside uh, just where it's a little warmer uh, and do the inspection in there uh, and the service drive through. I've never seen this before. The, temp the template for the Corvette has been left on. So that's how they have it perfectly spaced out and I've just never seen them leave the template on. That's kind of cool. All right, we got to get back to inspecting this. I lost my dongle when I was doing an install video on my high wing. I think it's in my Corvette. Um, so we're going to have to handheld this like an uh, amateur because uh, I don't got my dongle. Uh, that's the thing that I use to hold up so that you don't see my hands and stuff. And it's less shaky for the video. So I apologize in advance. We're going to have a shaky start to this episode, but we will get back with the dongle and the later parts. This is a Z06 with the aero package on it. We've got a window sticker for you guys to take a gander at. Look at that. We've got a fully loaded build, $215,000 carbon fiber wheels that have been painted in the carbon flash metallic. We've got, as you can see here, nice orange. We've got Amplify Orange and we've got a natural interior oh that's a cool combination and then we also have here a hard top coming off the truck he did something different he caught me off guard today he went to the ingersoll rail yard and then came to our dealership likely because he wants to be able to go on his way back to the state so we're just going to take a look and see what he has on his truck here he's making good time we uh we had him come down last week and he made a, a really good stint in a short period of time and we're very happy because uh we've got a backlog of corvettes that we need to get from the factory and as you guys know um they're they're pumping them out quite aggressively so we have all no that's a non-z51 so we have we have all non-z51s except for this one and then we've got ourselves an aero z uh i'm really excited about uh, unveiling my aero package for um, my Z06. There's been a little bit of abrasion, let's call it, in terms of General Motors and these uh, aero packages on a lot of different levels. I, I am a dealer, but I also am a Corvette fanatic and I am a Corvette customer. And I find it frustrating when you wanna get something and you can't get it. And I'm gonna obviously find a way to do it. And I have been very cautious and I've been very 
cautious about making sure that I can do this properly and not also piss off the Corvette gods. They need as many of these high wings as possible. And um, if I start putting out video content on how I'm doing it and how I'm circumnavigating it, there is a little bit of uh, a concern with how many more Z06s they can make. I don't know if you guys can read between the lines on that, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. What I can tell you is, is that there is a lot more work involved with getting the aero package on a, a non-aero than meets the eye. And you really need to do a proper job of researching it before you start cracking it open and doing it. Um, we're gonna unwrap this. The customer is gonna be here very shortly. And um, yeah, we'll go through a walk around of it and what we're gonna be doing to it. Obviously, as you guys can see, it's got a fully loaded build on here. Uh, so there's there's a lot of fun things that we're going to be talking about. And we need to catch up about the Corvette world. Steve Garrett is celebrating his fifth year of doing Corvette today. And that's really a very healthy source of information that you get on a weekly basis and bi-weekly for the news. Um, so if you guys uh, are wanting to get more updates on this kind of stuff, if I haven't uploaded an episode because um, I've been doing other kinds of content, uh, Corvette Today podcast is going to be a really good source for you to be able to get that. So let's get this unwrapped and this one off the truck and I'll meet you guys right back. Okay, we got a spring sale on and that is causing a lot of my Corvette inventory to disappear. This is going down to Barrett Jackson sooner than later. It was actually purchased at Barrett Jackson and uh, it's got one hell of a 427 inside of it. It's just is an amazing beast. I, I all right, I'll bite. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit. I can't believe that this is an original steering wheel. When you have this short of a wheelbase and this much power, it's terrifying to have that as your steering wheel. Uh, I'll leave it at that. This is more art than anything, in my opinion. This uh, is a 23 used C8 that's sold. We can't deliver it because the headlight recall was also for used vehicles. Uh, so an interesting thing there. Here is one of the last Camaros. That's a 24 model year. I have a manual C7 that I have no idea why it's still here. Um, and then I've got my two deliveries ready to go up front for delivery day, the day before Easter. So it's Thursday, Good Friday's tomorrow. And what better thing to have for Good Friday than a brand new Arctic white 3LT with the Oreo Panda interior. That's kind of what I've nicknamed my style interior. Uh, and the 70th anniversary wheels. Unfortunately, this gentleman could not get a 70th anniversary. We did not have the allocation to be able to get him one. And so he took some of the styling cues from the 70th anniversary and brought it over to um, a 24 model year. Uh, we also have the Stinger R appearance package on here. So we have the Jake logo in the front. And then we have the center caps, which have the Stingray R on them. And then obviously the Stingray R package comes with the 5VM ground effects, but this one does not have it on it. So uh, we do not have the side Stingray R decals on just yet. And we're going to wait for the customer to tell us where he wants them to go on. Now, Panda, this is a 3LT Sky Cool Gray interior that has uh, the two-tone option in suede. So this right here is all the suede. I don't want to get into it because it's perfect and ready to go for the customer, except for the sticker right here. Oh my goodness. All right, now it's perfect. Um, I love it. I obviously love it because I got one myself and we were also talking about suede and um, we protect all of our suede interiors um, with a product that I'm not going to try to say on camera because it sounds really long and I'm just going to ruin it. But if you're interested in protecting your interior, reach out to your local dealer or detailing shop and get the suede protected, especially if you have a Panda interior because it's white suede. Like I don't think it gets any more vulnerable than that. So Arctic white on a sky cool grade two-tone interior 3LT with some uh, 70th anniversary styling cues and the Stingray R appearance package. Uh, low profile spoiler painted in carbon flash metallic black <sighs> pretty cool looking car um, so the white on white theme with black accents is definitely something that I am a fan of and then beside it I have a sport escalade uh, we did the monochromatic emblems on it and uh, we did the black emblems in the back where it says escalade this is not 
um, uh, Arctic white. This is actually the 70th anniversary white. So kind of cool that we have these two beside each other because that is the color of the 70th anniversary and that is regular degular arctic white so uh very cool i always love the non-platinum sport black interiors because it has the regular zebra wood with a whisper beige accent so kind of a black on white interior and a black on white interior beside each other uh but yeah i hope you guys enjoy let's get back over to the corvettes that i'm unwrapping all right, it started to rain and I gotta get as colorful as this Amplify Z over here. Take a look at this. I love this driver that just came and dropped off these Corvettes. He is a pro. He positioned these and unwrapped them faster than I've seen a lot of other people unwrap them. And uh, he loved to be able to connect with um, the, the, the owner of this Z06. I don't normally record for privacy reasons, the drivers and also the customers. And, uh, I can tell you that this driver was very, very cool. And again, there's a lot of heart and soul behind Corvette. And, you know, the drivers get just as much of a kick out of it and hearing about the stories. And this individual has been waiting for five years for his Z06. So if you're thinking about calling me and asking me for a Z06 because you saw one on my channel, keep in mind that there are people that have been waiting for five years right now to get one of these wide bodies and uh that's not to discourage you it's just to set your expectations for when i tell you that over the phone and um you have a grown-up hissy fit so amplify orange red mist metallic two colors that came in around the same time and uh well i i really think that there's a statement to be made about these cars uh, they both have a natural interior, and that is something that we'll theme for this component right now. We have both very, very boisterous colors. I would say that Red Mist Metallus is one of the most in-depth characteristic colors in terms of it being a dark red on an overcast day, which is what we have right now. But on a sunny day, it looks like it's liquid metal, and it is so uh, rewarding as a color. You can kind of see in here what I'm talking about. And it's become an overnight success when it came onto the scene in 2023 model year. Uh, natural interior. This is something that really gives you the vibe of a uh, exotic high-end vehicle. And this is a 3LT on both of these models. This has the suede optioned natural interior. So we are definitely gonna be leaving on these protective seat covers uh, and these areas in particular to make sure that we can keep as much dirt and stuff like that off of the vehicle before it hits our detail department. Just as an example, you can see um, in here from some dirty gloves, um, we're gonna have to use something what we call the tornado, which is where it steams and lifts up the dirt. And this is exactly one of the things that you need to be prepared for if you are going to be getting a suede interior. It is uh, a statement to be made. You know, this, in my opinion, is absolutely beautiful in terms of having layered full grain Napa leather and then suede on different layers here. That, to me, is something to be... Um, definitely taken into consideration for style but on that same note you need to make sure that you're aware that you are going to have a very vulnerable interior i have a 3lt so the headliner on the vehicle is already done up and including that is your vanity mirrors and mine is in white suede so if you think that this is bad wait till you see uh, my interior if you haven't seen it on my oreo interior um or my panda interior uh, we also have on here a uh, stealth package. So all of the trim accents are done in black on this. Um, that really helps with the contrast. Uh, but there's also a different way of doing it, which we're going to see on the Z or Z, depending on where you're watching from. This is, you know, I think a really good thing to take into consideration for style. You know, the, the, this owner here saw the natural interior and the lightness from our Amplify Orange and thought, you know what, instead of going all black accents in it, I think that the brushed aluminum will actually complement the natural interior a lot more. I'm not gonna say that one is better than the other because beauty is in the eye of the beholder. But for me, if I was to, all right, let's go all the way in. If I was to look at these from a consistent, design language, which is something that I focus on 
quite a bit in terms of looking at this from a, a step back and thinking, how does this all mesh together? I would have to say that a solid interior is something that I would do more often than not where you have full grain Napa leather over suede interior. And that's just because of my lifestyle. And again, this is my opinion, which means nothing. And um, I would also agree that with this lighter interior that the brushed aluminum does a really good job. So that is my suggestion on this. And I value everybody's opinion. And that's one of the things that I love most about um, going to car shows and stuff like that is uh is seeing what other people have put their money behind because that at the end of the day is something that i would hope most people put a lot of thought into and if they did it should be an extension of who they are and i want to get to know them through their corvette and on that topic i am going to announce that i will be driving down to the bash which is in almost exactly a month from today um if you're not aware it's on april 24th to the 26th in Bowling Green, Kentucky. This is the National Corvette Museum's Michelin uh, Bash, and I will be there. I will be excited to see Team Corvette making some announcements. I'm excited to hear from the new plant director and maybe to see some sneak peeks. Last year, we saw in the hardtop convertibles, the engine uh, convertible appearance package get released. Maybe we'll be lucky enough to see some new colors for the 25 model year get released. Um, you know, because that's what we did when we were down there last time as we looked at Seawolf Grey, Cacti, and um, uh, Riptide Blue Metallic. Uh, so on that topic, maybe maybe hopefully we'll see those colors get released or leaked uh, sooner than later because that was one of the reasons why I went down to the bash last year now that I'm thinking out loud. We're due for these new colors. Show us 25 model year colors, Corvette. Um, back to this Corvette though. This is just an absolute work of art. Um, another thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, as a lot of people have commented is the stripe or the line that they have on specific interiors. I have a sky cool gray interior and on a non Z06 or wide body that does not have the steering wheel. It has a black stripe on the black leather. And so a lot of people are using vinyl now to overlay, um, the black stripe that comes on a black interior because they want that line which has got some racing heritage behind it. It's not just for style in terms of making sure that your steering wheel is straight up. And um, not all interiors have such a detailed uh, contrast like you see on the natural interior here. So this is a painted finish on here. On the non-Z06 versions, which I'll show you right over here, it is done in leather. See how careful I am to get this out? Someone here was not that careful and we will have to chastise them. All right. Back to the non-Z or Z. And this is what comes on if you are getting the natural interior. But if you weren't, there is some that are black. Um, and uh, that to me is something that a couple of people have used a vinyl overlay to do. I don't know how durable that is in the long run, but I do think it's a healthy um, styling change that uh, is important to note uh, because not all vehicles have that contrast um so we've got to get this one over to auto trim design to get the decals put on it we have a third party do them for us just because uh we want to make sure that they're perfect i have the white c8 uh if you already haven't seen it you're about to see it in this next segment uh that i'm picking up and scheduling for delivery it's easter weekend so we're going to try our best to get as many of these corvettes out as possible uh i hope you guys enjoy uh, the content that I have coming out now. I, I am kind of um, broadening my content in terms of having electric vehicle stuff, truck and Corvette stuff, but we are going into Corvette season. I have uh, 11 Corvettes that are on their way in. Three of them are here right now. I have E-Rays that are coming as well. Um, we've got a lot of stuff. Uh, and then I've got the Bash that's coming up next month. Um, the next episode though is going to be a fun one. I haven't even brought this up yet and I don't know why, but I am going down to Spring Mountain with Mike Furman and we are going to be doing the Z06 Corvette Academy. And so the next episode that you see come out is going to be a synopsis of that. I am going down this weekend to Spring Mountain and uh, I am ecstatic. I can't wait. I've actually kind of compartmentalized it in my in my mind because I didn't want to get too excited and I have to stay focused on these Corvettes that are are coming in for these customers 
um, because I, I know that uh, I would just get too distracted and I've got to stay focused while these Corvettes are coming in. Uh, but I'm going down to Spring Mountain and on the next episode, you will see my synopsis of what it is like to fly down to the Spring Mountain racetrack and do the Z06 experience. So hope you enjoyed this content. Stay tuned for more. I'm Morgan Crosby and happy motoring.